Hey, Beebs. What you doing? I like your hairdo. Oh, you're ready for a punk wood episode. Hello, Wobblies. Welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris, and in this episode, we are charring punk wood for fire starting. Punkwood is dry rot in dead trees and logs that is caused by decay fungi. These pieces have punky characteristics. They're very light and almost spongy, but there's a spongier part in this wood right here, sort of in the center. way to tell when you have punk wood is it's very spongy. It often forms in the center of felled trees. It's most of the punk wood out of that one. See how it just kind of falls apart? That's punk wood. Push with my fingernail. It depresses in. This log has some um, punky wood right here, near the fork in the tree. So we're going to put this wood in tins. And these already have holes in the top from when we made char cloth before. These are the two tins after they have cooled. You can see everything inside has completely charred. This is the more chunky charred punk wood. This is the more slivery 
charred punk wood. And on top, this is some denim char cloth we made before. This is a piece of the chunkier punk wood. Slippery charred punk wood. cotton denim char cloth we made previously. The benefit of punk wood is that it occurs naturally anywhere there are trees. It was fun and easy to make the charred punk wood because it's so similar to making char cloth. And it's nice to have just one more way that you can make a fire. And when you can find those materials naturally, that's all the better. Down in the comments below, let us know if you've ever made charred punk wood, char cloth, and what you think of the two, is how they compare. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright. Until next time. A benefit of punk wood that is not helpful.